Hi, Edith Wharton was the first female to win a Pulitzer Prize for fiction for her 12th novel, The Age of Innocence, which is a timeless love story set in high society New York in the late 1800s. Wharton was born in 1862. She married Edward Wharton in 85 when she was 23. The marriage was difficult. Edward suffered from depression and nine years later she had the first in a series of nervous breakdowns. Um, despite or perhaps because of that, she began writing and published her first short story in 1889 and her first novel in 1900 when she was 38. In 1911 she moved to France, divorced Edward and during the First World War she worked to aid refugees and was honored by the French government and she died in France in 1937 and she's buried in Versailles. Her writing is succinct and emotionally insightful in a way that's still relevant today. Um, and the age of innocence is very much about the tension between how people felt and how they had to behave in order to be thought proper in 19th century society. Um, so this really immerses you in a lost world and it's reminiscent of Jane Austen. Um, Wharton has legions of fans, but there are some negative reviews. Isabel Carrero on Amazon gives it one star and she says she got 20% of the way in and nothing important had happened. There were too many characters, too many rich families to keep straight and they were all boring and self-righteous and wordy. She did not like it at all. Um, so to enjoy this book, you have to be willing to slow right down and, and be inclined to look at life from the point of view of these characters. Characters. So if you don't fancy that, you might like to try one of um, Edith Wharton's short stories. One of her short stories is called The Lady's Maid Bell. It's a wonderful ghost story. It's free online and it's written from the point of view of a lady's maid and the plot clips along nicely and it did raise a few goosebumps on my arms. Both that story and the novel have been made into films and Age of Innocence starred Michelle Pfeiffer, Daniel Day-Lewis and Winona Ryder and was directed by Martin Scorsese. So our cocktail today is called Countess Ellen's Roman Punch, the recipes on bookgirl.tv. This is a frozen palate cleanser that was an important part of any dinner, um, any important dinner in the 1800s. And Roman Punch is served at two dinners in the Age of Innocence, one to welcome Countess Ellen Olenska to America, a dinner that no one wants to attend, and one in honor of her departures. And there are many recipes online. Um, we've chosen to do something a little different today. This is a lime sherbet instead of lemon, and it's mixed with a spiced rum, which was crafted by William Grant and Sons in New York, uh, from rums distilled in the Caribbean that they mix in New York. And then it's topped off with Verve Clicquot Champagne, which is also mentioned in The Age of Innocence, and with a pinch of cinnamon on top. So, I'll take a sip. Mmm, delicious. Thanks for watching. See you next time.